Hello everyone, it is David T or uh, DT Servers. I just firstly want to start off by saying what a terrible video my last Discord bot uh, tutorial was. Um, I like to point out I'm using the same microphone that I was in that video. However, I had settings so messed up. Um, this is obviously so much better. Anyways, we're going to go in. Discord.js released an update recently uh, to version 13. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of redo that video a little bit just with the basics of how to get the bot set up and some basic um, message listeners uh, and stuff like that just so that you guys can uh, hopefully upgrade your bots or start a new bot uh, using Discord.js version 13. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, again, um, I'm starting with a clean, clean Windows install so I should be just like you guys are at. Um, we're going to grab Node.js. Um, and we're gonna have to grab a version over 12. So I believe that is a development version um, for 16 technically. Uh, so we're gonna go with current, yeah, 16.8 uh, instead of 14, yep. So we're gonna go with the current version instead of the LTS. And we're gonna grab the node installer real quick. And we're also gonna grab uh, Visual Studio. And I'm just going to grab Visual Studio Code because I don't feel like grabbing actual Visual Studio. And this is going to be our text editor here. If you have something that you like to use, go ahead and keep using it. But I'm going to just go ahead and, and grab uh, VS. Um, another thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to make a bot directory uh, to get everything kind of started in. So I'm going to go and I'm just going to make a uh, folder called whatever, bots. And we're going to go demo cool and then inside here we can start off with our json file uh well node is installing we might as well just kind of continue doing a few things and we're just going to go all the defaults and that's all i'm really looking for okay and vs code installed so we'll let this guy run as well hopefully and like I said, I'm going to go, I'm going to make a new text document, and this is going to be called config. Real quick, I'm going to go up to the view tab, I'm going to hit file name extensions. That way I can actually see what extension it is. And we're going to go config.json. Um, looks like Visual Studio is here, we're just going to click through this install. And we're just going to basically go default install here, plus a desktop shortcut because I'm lazy. Cool. And inside, actually we can't edit our config.json very easily yet, um, but we're also going to go ahead and we're going to make a text document called, I'm going to call it, we can call it whatever we actually feel like, it's just going to be a JS file. Uh, usually it's referred to as index as the primary, um, so we're, we'll do it index.js and that will now be a JavaScript file. The one other thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a batch script to run our JavaScript file uh, based in Node. So our new text document is going to be a uh, run.bat. And it should, we can right click this, we'll go edit. I think I meant to hit edit. Yeah, I'm just going to paste this from an old file. Uh, I'm just going to echo off Node my bot and then end with a pause uh, so I can catch any errors. Uh, and we're going to change this to index because uh, that matches our JavaScript file that we that we made here. Perfect. Um, I'm also going to go and I'm going to set the default open with for JavaScript to be uh, VS Code. Cool. Perfect. All right. I'm going to copy this link here, and now I'm going to go into Command Prompt. Super simple stuff here. Uh, we're going to cd change directory, paste is right click, and we're now in our demo bot, and I now can run some node commands. Oh, it's npm. I'm stupid. npm install discord.js. Perfect. I apologize there. Let's see if I can use my brain. Also, uh, we'll have our package lock should come in here, and now we'll have a node modules that will automatically install with all of our uh, dependencies, which is good. Perfect. I'm also gonna grab Discord.js voice. I'll show you how to make a quick voice connector. Um, Cause those are really pretty simple. So again, same thing here. Um, install, npm install discord.js and we're gonna do 
at Discord JS slash voice is what it should be here. Hopefully, there might be a space before the at. There is a space before the at. There we go. Um, I didn't need to install both. I could have just done the Discord JS at the voice. So, haha, <laughs> whoops. Oh well. Let's go up and make our application in the uh, Discord administrative portal just to make it easier. So we're going to go uh, discord.com slash developers slash applications and we're going to create a new application. And we're going to name it Jeff. We're going to go to bot. We're going to build a bot. And too many users have this username. Please try another. Uh, all right, Jeff. Um, all right, we actually got one with Jeff. That's surprising. Oh, well, we'll just keep our bot there. Um, I'm going to copy this token. And uh, this is a big thing to keep in mind because um, we need that token in our config JSON. So I'm going to open that JSON file real quick. And I'm going to dump my token somewhere in here. Uh, you don't ever give your token to anyone, ever, 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 just ever. Uh, it's something you keep to yourself, so uh, I'll delete this. All right, so we have our token in here. We have a prefix. I'm going to grab my owner ID. All right, let me go and enable developer settings, because I don't think I did that. That should be advanced. Developer mode. Ha ha. All right, cool. No, maybe not. Hello, hello, hello. Copy ID. There we go. Okay. And owner ID, paste, and save. So our config JSON, it basically all I need is in that file now. Uh, so we're going to go and we're going to open up index.js. And here is where some things have changed. Um, usually we call our bot. Um, we always need a uh, require discord.js because that's what everything's built in. So we're going to put a const discord is require discord.js. Uh, pretty simple stuff there. And then we're going to get say that we need our, our config JSON file. So we're going to require a JSON file there. This is where you have to now define intents. Uh, this is a change of 13. Intents are difficult. This is every intent that you can possibly have. This is a really bad thing to do. Uh, but while you're developing, I, I can't blame you if you leave every single intent in there. When you go to production with your bot, remove every intent that you do not need. Uh, intents are defined in the discord.js documentation. Basically, they define what your bot can actually has permissions and the ability to do. Uh, that way, you're not enabling a bunch of unnecessary stuff on, on this bot. Um, and I am going to also uh, put a const uh, define of a bunch of audio resources to be uh, a required Discord JS. So, and then what I'm going to do is we're going to do a client, and now instead of client on, it's now client once. So on something that is only going to happen once, like an on message, uh, then we're going to have client dot uh, once. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and close this here, and we're going to make a new client once or client on. Uh, There's going to be a client dot on, not a client dot once. Because uh, this is multiple issues. Uh, so client, if we encounter an error, and then we're going to return. So if it encounters an error, we're just going to exit the process and say, screw it, who cares? And that's what return means is basically end what it's working on. Um, another Discord v13 change that existed is it used to be client on message. It's now on, uh, I'm going to paste this one here, client on message create. So make sure you get that changed if you're moving from 12 to 13. And we'll expand that guy a little later. Um, the next thing we need to do is actually get our uh, bot to log in. And that's just basically client login. Yeah, config token. Because config will point to our config file. And inside our JSON file, we have that token uh, defined. The next thing we need to do is add our bot to our Discord server. So I'm going to go and I'm going to find, actually, sorry, before we do that, we need to give uh, privilege gateway intents. We need presence intent and uh, server members intent. That's all we need to do there. 
And we also will need to grab uh, our application ID. So that's again from general information, application ID, this guy right here. We'll copy it. Now we go to this link, Discord app, authorize, scope is bot, client ID equals boom. And this will ask us to add Jeff uh, to our server. So we're going to add it to our server. Ba -ba -dum. And then I'm manually going to have to give it some permissions. At the very bottom, we have administrator. So we're going to do that real quick. And we will give Jeff the administrative bot permissions. Now, we're going to go and we're going to run this run file that we created. Good AO, I booted. Perfect. Now, if we go back to Discord, we should see Jeff is idle and playing bananas, just like our config says he should be. Now, we actually have to get into to code. And so um, that's where this can get a little bit tricky. Thankfully, there's a lot of resources out there. Um, Discord.js, documentation, they have a good Discord server. Um, for a bunch of documentation that you can uh, find out on all of this. Um, I'm just going to make a quick message here. Um, there's just a few things that we should do. And um, I am going to make a ping command. Actually, first of all, we don't want bots to talk to each other. So I'm going to add that quick guy here. If the message author is a bot, then we're going to return because we do not want our bot to respond to uh, any any other bots. Uh, otherwise, we could basically make an endless loop. Um, so that's going to prevent that. Next thing I'm going to do is just a basic ping command. Uh, if the message content uh, to lowercase equals ping. So what that's going to do is if I say the word ping, no matter what the capitalization is, if it's those four letters and nothing else, it's going to it's going to listen and it's going to reply. Um, with the bot API ping, um, client WS ping, and then the message time created stamp minus the um, minus the current date, so it'll see the delay in that. Uh, it's not perfect, but it uh, you know it gets you kind of average numbers there. And then we are going to also put in an eval command, and this is something that you're going to have to copy paste here. Um, because this is super not fun. Am I blind? No, that's, I don't need that. Not bad. I just forget how coding works. Syntax. Okay. So we're going to dump this eval command in here, which is always a good one to have. And uh, this will be kind of good to find, to find what you're missing, what commands you're missing here. So I'll dump you this uh, bit of code here uh, somewhere in the description. Uh, you can find probably a paste bin or something of it. And now we're going to terminate this process, Control-C, yes. And we're going to restart our bot with run.bat. And we now should have a couple message listeners here. So let's check this guy here. Um, if it starts with config, prefix, and E then uh, this guy will pick up. So config prefix again was an exclamation point. So if we go here, and if I type the word ping, no matter what the case is, capital I, it'll respond to me with some ping. So I can go um, ping, I can do whatever capitalization I want. If I add pings, any other letters, it's not gonna work. But if I just go with ping, cool. We have our, uh, our ping. Uh, for the bot, that is some very delayed ping. Um, but we'll, we'll, uh, this is running again on a, it's running on a pretty slow server. Again, this is a kind of a, a new windows install that I did for this. Uh, next thing is again, we put in that E command, um, for eval and this is really cool. I can run like client and it shows me any object I can do with a client. Um, see client WS is the web socket manager. So I can E client.ws and it'll show me uh, it'll show me the gateway status uh, reconnecting events um, and I can even do I can get the ping of the discord bot if I want to uh, dot ping and it'll show me the, uh, the API ping this is something that you should never let anyone else do and as you see I have a if the message author ID 
is not equal to the config owner ID, then it's not going to respond. It's just not going to respond. Uh, I'm just going to start off with a whole nother listener real quick and show you just a couple music commands. Um, and these, this again, this is pretty messy. Uh, this is just some stuff that I wrote a bit ago. Um, again, there's great resources to figure out the code that you need to do um, to actually make your bot good and perfect here for you. Uh, but hopefully this will give you an, an idea of how to get started. Um, so I'm going to change and uh, do a couple things real quick. Uh, I'm going to paste a listener here. And this is going to check for again if the message is from a bot we're not going to care we're just going to ignore it and if the member who sent the message the message member uh is not in a voice channel if their voice channel is null then we're going to ignore now, one other check i'm going to do here in my code is a really 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 bad one um so we can kind of pretend that it's not this terrible um, but this is because I have message listeners and not command listeners, which is a bad idea, which is why you're supposed to do command listeners, but again, I'm lazy. Um, so if I say play, then, um, I'm sorry, if I don't, if, if the command is not equal to play, then I'm just going to completely, uh, ignore the command, basically. Um, then we're going to return there. We're also going to do a quick const, um, for a connection to be join voice channel, uh, and we're going to join whatever voice channel people are in. Um, we're going to create a voice adapter, and we're going to join the um, message.member.voice.channel.id. So if the message member is in a voice channel, it's going to join that voice channel. Uh, that's what tells it which one to do. Uh, we're also going to create a quick um, uh, audio player. So we're going to create an audio player. And then we're going to subscribe that audio player, uh, the connection, to the audio player. So now that connection is associated, uh, or that audio player is associated with that connection. And the next thing we are going to do is uh, create a message listener. And we can do whatever, whatever we want to. Um, but again, I'm not going to show you how to play dynamic info. I'm just going to show you how to play like a static music file because uh, that's just going to be super simple. Uh, if message content to lowercase is play, um, this is just going to be single play. Uh, again, like I said, this is this is up to you guys to, to build it deeper. Um, but that is where we are going to play a... Um, let's see. We're going to go and we're going to say player.play uh, create audio resource and we're going to go to clips sound.mp3. And I'm also going to do a reply of um, something. That way we know that the command kind of actually went through. So I'm just going to reply and say, hey, I, I played. Um, and then we're going to close that guy real quick. And the other thing that I will do is create a um, an activity timeout. So um, we're going to say if the player is idle, so player on status idle, then it's going to stop anything that's playing. Um, it's, or sorry, it's going to break the player and it's going to break the uh, the connection. So it's going to disconnect once it's done playing. Other thing I'm going to add is a, uh, a cache, just a player cache error, and if the player hits an error, then it's going to log everything here, and it's going to play the next resource uh, if there's an next one in queue. So this is just some good general ones to have in place. And then I am going to close my uh, um, my listener here and save this, and we should be good to go. So again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to restart my bot. And uh, I need to create a file here, so we're going to go into our bots directory. Clips is the direction I told it to point to. Inside clips, we're going to have to give it a little file. And we're going to, again, we're going to go to cd to c. Um, 
bots demo and we're going to npmi uh, ffmpeg static and that is going to be an audio encoder for uh, <laughs> for for the audio uh, we need a way to actually bring the audio in so that's what we're gonna do here real quick and we're good to go so now I'm gonna bounce my bot one more time um, bounce is a fancy fancy word for the word restart so it's really not too fancy there um, it should get in there and Jeff should theoretically disconnect but I'm, I'm just gonna disconnect him real quick we're just gonna we are going to disconnect alright and then we're gonna hit the command play you should get in there look he said he played and we should see that we do have one as well we're missing an encryption package perfect there we go so any wrappers installed it seem to install fine again you'll probably find better options if you actually do some research into discord js um, of what what encoders and stuff to use but again trying to just give you kind of some basics to to get started here and we play and now we see we have activity so we're playing right there you'll see activity go away and the bot will disconnect based off of the uh yep disconnects based off of the code that we made to play once it starts getting uh, idle so we are now playing a static music file um in in discord and we are also playing um we have an eval command in there and we're responding to messages uh, Discord is moving to slash commands for bots where you can type slash and um, there's another listener to do those uh, to do those slash commands but um, I'm not going to go into that because that's all over the place um, and you guys need to do your own research to make your own bot um, however you guys want to this is just some general stuff to, uh, to get you guys going um, and playing correctly uh, so again, uh, I apologize for the, the last video that's now a few years old. Um, hopefully this gave you some some updates here, especially with the uh, V13 uh, rollout that's happening. So again, as always, uh, leave me some comments or some questions if you need me to take a look at uh, something else in the future here.